up to 99% of tech startups that were launched last month will fold within a year because their products are clever but utterly pointless, one of the UK's leading innovation experts has warned. Just one in a hundred new businesses are likely to survive more than 12 months trading because the goods they have developed serve no practical purpose, it is claimed. Almost every new app, gadget and electronic item to hit the shelves boasts cutting-edge software that would have taken years to design and to bring to market. But very few are created with a view of satisfying the three fundamental principles of business success – need, want and demand, according to Matt Shaw, the founder of global training and innovation firm Outside In. It means that the shelves are becoming increasingly full of expensive and over-engineered products that today's savvy consumers do not need and are almost guaranteed to ignore. The success in business, and especially in startups, rarely requires a truly ingenious, complex solution, he said. Rather, it is about addressing market needs better than existing providers. This can only be achieved by developing new products or improving existing ones to satisfy demand, not the other way around. Unfortunately, an increasing number of startups appear to have overlooked this cardinal rule and are bringing highly ingenious products that are utterly pointless to the marketplace. Speaking yesterday, Shaw, whose new book, The Seven Heavenly Habits of Innovation, is out this week, added, innovation is important, but not for innovation's sake. The UK high street retailers are unquestionably facing widespread challenges. Retailers need to be thinking about what will capture consumers' attention next. A trend that we're seeing could be the answer. It's buy it for life, B-I-F-L, and here's why. Living in a society of cheap imported goods, we have become far less inclined to recycle and reuse when cheap alternatives are so readily available. But this quickly leads to a false economy and poses the question, at what point does it become more cost effective to switch from buying the cheaper, lower quality product to the more expensive but higher quality alternative that won't need replacing so soon? Well, this is not to say that the more expensive item will always last longer. The £1,000 designer handbag you treated yourself to might not last longer than your £200 one. But when it comes to your boiler, your fridge or your mattress, this may well be the case. For retailers selling high-ticket quality items, this argument is naturally very beneficial for them. Being able to upsell is crucial for a healthy margin, but persuading the customer to hand over a larger lump sum isn't always an easy conversation. But what if the retailer could help customers spread the cost of this purchase over a period of months at no extra cost? Suddenly, that slightly out of reach purchase becomes much more realistic. Rather than paying upfront for a £200 dishwasher that will need replacing in a couple of years, they can now buy the better quality £700 dishwasher in £50 monthly instalments that will go on to last for 15 plus years. A study published this year by Pushon revealed that 62% of shoppers would rather purchase big ticket items in store than online. By implementing an instant finance option into stores, retailers are sure to see an even greater preference to purchase in person, resulting in an uplift in sales in brick and mortar shops. Hold everything clients already know the value of choosing the best virtual office.